see if they just pulled down too far. Knock on the door. Yeah. 
It's already in gear. Just hit the lever. It's uh. an audience. Yeah. Just looks like they just pulled down here to park and just went a little too far. No, no. Jeff! Oh! <laughs> I didn't know you were in this. <laughs> All right, guys, here's a uh, wind chat we just completed. This is a prime example of you rent a cabin and you don't really know where you rented a cabin. <laughs> what you're getting yourself into. What you're getting yourself into. So that was a 2022 brand new car. They got down, parked it where they weren't supposed to. But this road is, it's pretty crazy. Like I can't make this turn over here, so. You can get under the power. Yeah. 
not bring a roll back. No. I mean, if you had a vehicle on a rollback, I mean, we're barely under it. If you had a vehicle on a rollback, there's no way you'd do that. Or a lifted truck. Boogertown um, on the little round cabins. We've been up here several times. It's usually that uh, the cabin there to the left instead of the one to the right. I see that the the homeowner or the cabin rental agency did put some cross ties to keep those folks from doing it there on the one on the left, but still, still doing the one on the right. Do not deviate from the gravel. <laughs> she said it happened last night, so it was dark and I think it was raining, so. Okay guys, back to Booker Town. We'll see you on the next one. Spot 26. Tell them if you can find parking, come to us and we'll show you where to go. They don't listen. Yeah. Oh, they don't pay attention again. They don't pay attention to signs. Gotta be in the, oh yeah, it's right it's there in right. the center console. It's not. Okay. He's, he's Are we sure it's front wheel drive? Yeah, my car got towed. I don't know why, but I was at the hotel. Um, yeah, it was parked in a uh, uh, private property. Yeah. Uh, okay, then how much is it gonna be to get out? It's a 2003 white Corolla. 2003 white Corolla. It's. All right, and where's it gonna get picked up? How far is it from where it got towed? Um, address to this number if it's a good cell phone. Okay, you can text that. Okay, I'll text to the number. Brand new one out. In ninety, he had a brand new ninety six model. It's all wheel drive. It was a four fifty, but he went to Cincinnati Truck Sales and bought it. But now these are way fancier. Yeah, we had a four fifty. It, it was brand new though. Yeah, but, they're nice. We had one. Crazy. Oh, that's smart. We take a picture, and make sure it's not damaged. Yeah, yeah. That's smart. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Got a CYA, right? Do they wake up in the middle of the night looking for it or the next day? Oh they... no, it's usually about seven o'clock in the morning. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, God. So we run late, you know. Two, yeah, three o'clock over here doing this. Was it 500 bucks now? 400 bucks? <laughs> yeah. Shit, it in the morning. <laughs> Thanks, you too.
Ken. Tori, I got half. Ken, just Tori, I got half. How much are you going to charge me for this? Do you have like a get up going with the. No, ma'am. You uh, sure? We, because uh, how in the hell did you know that my car was parked in a daggum no parking zone, I guess, supposedly? You you were better off not to have that parking tag on there. Once they see the Country Inn and Suites parking tag hanging from your mirror, they know you're not supposed to be in that parking spot because you parked in one of the numbered spots that belongs to the church parking. How yeah, did the church parking didn't even, I mean, how did you know that I was parked there? The security goes around and checks for hang tags. So they the have, security from what? The motel? The security from that private lot. The private lot has a security system, a security guard that walks all of those and checks those parking spots. See, the parking spot that you were at, the folks that work in and around Gatlinburg pay for those individual spots. So when you're parked in one of them, they can't go to work because they rent those spots for people to work in rent. So when they come to work, they don't have a place to park. The security guard keeps up on those spots. Anytime he sees it, the country in the suites is supposed to tell you guys you cannot park in those so spots. So what she said was the main lot in the front and then on the side of the building. Yes, it's six. They don't fucking listen. <laughs> eight, six, <laughs> five. No, I didn't tell them. If you can't find parking, come to us and we'll show you where to go. They don't listen. Yeah. Oh, they don't pay attention to anything. They don't pay attention to signs. But she never mentioned numbered lots. No, she didn't. never. Yeah, see, it's, it's, a, it's a huge ongoing problem with that hotel. Like, there needs to be signs that say, not country and suites, or church only, Yeah. not hotel, or something. Because that's very... Well, there, there's about 18 signs over there that says church parking. It does say that, but it doesn't say hotel, like no hotel parking. Hi. But it says church parking, do not. <laughs> it does say church parking but it doesn't say hotel park people can't park there yeah, yeah it's, and uh, no one goes to church on a thursday night yeah it's just <laughs> a, yeah there's numbered spots so they're yeah they, they keep up on those numbered spots and yeah that yeah well, you know and then, and then we end up in this situation where and i'm sorry like i said the security just calls us to come do it the job yeah, but you so. would think they would just they would give you a heads up they didn't like, even let the front desk know they took our car yeah the, well the guy was out there he he, he knew I, I personally came last night to get this one and he recorded your your stuff and and he takes down the phone number so he knew and then we also have to report it to the police department so uh, the police department knows that that it was taken and the and the front desk guy knows that it's taken so. they did not they know. Said they didn't know they anything had no about idea it. He, they so even gave lied. me your number yeah it's out there we record everything we've got everything on video he, he was out there. He came out and, and took pictures of the tag and everything. So. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they, they know. The woman yeah. and the guy came out and we were like, where's our car? Yeah. They were very defensive. Very defensive. Because it happens all the time. That's why they're so defensive. They, uh, um, you know, they... It is. It's six, they don't fucking listen. <laughs> eight, six, five. No, I didn't tell them. If you can't find parking, come to us and we'll show you where to go. They don't listen. Yeah. Oh, they don't pay attention to anything. They, they have to do this. Probably once a day. Daily, it's uh, um, but yeah, yeah, it's um, it's, uh, let me get your change. And... Um, four. Yeah, they do. I won't stay there no more. No, I'm not either. What what year is the lucky? Good, but it's got uh, all the stuff on there. I'm so sorry. They're uh, 
Yeah, it's, it's okay. It's well, you're doing your job. job. You're it's doing a, your job. So it's a, just a they know. It's just like a red flag. For church parking, or is like you it just is. don't put a thing in the window. It they have a they have a placard that they put on there. If you walk by there, you'll see like these little uh, laminated copies, and it says what business that they work at oh. and what spots that they've rented. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if they go on like a monthly rental or if it's like a yearly thing, but the church leases those spots out okay. when there's not service. Yeah. That's how they, they lease those spots out to the people that work in Gatlinburg. Because Gatlinburg's horrible. There's no place to park. Yeah. If, if you're in Gatlinburg and you're not paying to park, you're doing something wrong. Because okay. it's bad. Notice across from the hotel there's a big gravel parking lot. Yeah. yeah. See, I thought about parking over there, but then I wasn't same sure if I could park over there. Yeah, same you get thing. told there? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Dang. I'm glad we didn't do that. I know, because yeah. I was going to park over there. Yeah, it's uh, that's a private... A private individual owns that one. It's not even the church. It's just a private lot. And right over there. Yeah. But it's actually, I think on the the thing, it's like way. It's two blocks back. away. Yeah, way in the way. Yeah, two blocks away. Do that. And see, when when you guys are getting into town, it you know, even if you got into town one, two o'clock in the morning, you don't want to walk yeah. in the dark two and blocks away. And there was like a bear last night. Yeah, there was, there was a bear across the street. <laughs> we ain't doing that. Yeah, no, it's oh. eh, that's the thing. They just don't have enough. They don't have enough room, and they. They bought that lot, but unfortunately, that lot's two blocks away, and it's not accommodating for their for their okay. guests. It stinks. I, I, there was even a guy in there. That, I guess he checked in before you guys. Yes, he had a kid. He said, he said she had no idea she wasn't supposed to park there. Yeah. He was he was out there talking to us while we were loading the car up. Yeah. But the guy went back in. I thought he was going to let you guys know because he took pictures of your hang tag and, and all. I yeah. thought he was going to. So we waited around for a good 15, 20 minutes, and I'm like, well, maybe he didn't. So we, we had other calls, so we had to go. Oh, that just makes me so yeah, mad. Yeah, makes me mad too. Because yeah. I was really dogging you, but it's really not you, it's them. Yeah, yeah. It's, I, like I said, I, I try to explain that to the people. You know, I get a lot of people that are very upset, and, and for good reason. You know, like I said, you guys are paying good money, but they, they need to have, it's just a simple flyer, a piece of paper, that yeah. marks where, and they could just hand that to all their guests, and it would solve yeah. a whole lot of stuff. Instead of just saying, and just pointing behind the desk, you can yeah. park your, they need. Yeah, we literally a, had plans to go shopping, and then we go out, and the car's not there. She's she like, thought I was playing a trick on I was like, on are her. you playing a trick on me? Did you move the car? She's like, no, it's like, not no, I did there. not. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and see, it's a big thing. Like I said, we have to we have to report it to the police department. They have to run your tag, make sure it's not stolen, and then they log it. So when you call and say, "Hey, my car's stolen," well, they say, "Well, no, it's." Yeah. And then if you don't come get it in 24 hours, then we have to report it to the state, and then run the paperwork. And so we've had some cases like that where people have just parked, and you know they're on vacation, so sometimes oh, they don't wow. use their car for a couple of days. Oh my god! So it's just a huge mess for over there. It really is. They they need to fix something, but. I don't know what the fix is unless they want to buy some other property that's close. Yeah. I don't. I don't think they're willing to do that. They, yeah. They're like, here you are. But see, but enough of that, guys. I'm. You're not having any fun if you're here talking to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> you guys. Uh, you're all right. Thank try you. Try to have a for better taking care of my car. time. Appreciate yeah, we, it. We uh. Yeah. You'll have you'll have a good time. There's the traffic's low and there's not a whole lot of folks in town, so you guys can be able to. I'm probably just gonna go home. Yeah. Maybe rip around. Well, I'm sorry, guys. Be safe. Safe yes, travels going home. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. It. Come on, Eddie.